Hi, I'm going to try to do a, a real quick video here on um, why Passover cannot, impossible, cannot occur in April. That is not the first month of the year of the Jewish calendar. Uh, in the Babylon exile, uh, well, let's first let's go show when Passover is. The 14th to the 22nd. But the first month of the calendar, of the Jewish calendar, is what we call March. Nisan is a made-up Babylonian term to express April and March. But as we look into the actual Hebrew word, we will prove all that it can only exist in March because of spring. Now, uh, we all know um, that a few people on the internet have done some wonderful studies on when the harvest of the wheat is. We're not talking about the harvest of the wheat. It's the planting of the wheat and when it looks green. And we'll go to, to prove all that. Let's first go to uh, Exodus 12.2, talking about um, the, the month to begin the months. And they don't say, it says, this month shall be the beginning of months, the first month to you. Beginning of months, and this is all from Exodus 12.2. This will be the first month, it'll be the first month of the year for you. A year doesn't change. The, 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 when they celebrate the first month and it's associated with spring which I'll prove to you later it is the first month first month of the year first month first month first month this month shall be unto you the beginning of months it shall be to you the first month of the year I mean it, it, it's just over and over again and this is the, the beginning of the chapter. God said to Moses and Aaron, while still in Egypt, can I say that one more time? Still in Egypt, this month is to be the first month of the year for you. And God did change the months from the seventh month, and, and we won't go into that in that study. The first month is Aviv or Abib. And Let's go to Exodus uh, 13.4. And this is to show you that we're in the Geneva Bible. And this is first fruits that they're talking about. New corn. It says... Then Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in the which ye came out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, for by a mighty hand the Lord brought you out from thence. Therefore no leavened bread shall be eaten. When? This day come ye out uh, in the month of Abib. And they call it Nisan. Nisan is not God's term. Nisan is a Babylonian term. It's a Nimrod term, you know, the, the Pharaoh's term. And this is, and then they talk about seven days later, the feast, okay? So we're talking about the month of Abib. Well, let, let's, uh, we've got to go one more time, and so that's 12 to, okay. This is the, the month of Abib, 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 and then they call it Aviv, which I can't find in the Greek, and it, month of Abib, the month of new corn, new corn. It's not maize like our corn here in the United States, it's new corn. We'll look up those words. And then it says the first months of the year, March to April, that is Babylonian terms. It's impossible. You can't have a new year that changes. It's in the month. It's in the month of new corn. And one of them says in early spring. Keep that in mind. 
celebrate this day of your exodus at the end of March each year. Well, spring, we'll say it's the 21st, you add seven days for the celebration or eight days, you get to the, tw you get to the end of, of March. But they are to celebrate it in that month, not the, the next month or whenever the seven days would take them. Obviously, spring doesn't change. So we're talking about March here. We're not talking about the harvest. We're talking about spring, new corn, March. And the, the same month, same month, Abib, Abib. Abib, 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 Abib. In the month of new fruits, new fruits. Let's remember all that. So we, we've gone through uh, all that and we checked that. Well, let's, uh, we're in March, right? And we're saying, oh no, it's, 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 it's not possible because uh, we're talking about the United States. No, we're talking about Israel. Well, here's in Jerusalem. Here's today, and it's March 6th, and it's 71 degrees in uh, Israel. So let's, let's, talk about, uh, let's talk about wheat. Winter wheat is planted in the fall and harvested in the spring or summer. So we're talking, I guess we can all come to the same agreement that they're talking about present day, March or April for the Passover. Well, wouldn't be in the summer, spring. It's harvested in the spring. We're not talking about the harvest. We're talking about new corn, new fruits. Winter wheat will start growing in the fall when it's planted and before... Uh, before the winter begins, and then when the, the, we'll stop growing altogether, but it doesn't die. Huh. Well, well, maybe they are talking about the harvest, and I'm using sarcasm. Spring wheat is planted in the spring and ripens in the summer. Okay. So we're talking about, well, it's harvested in the spring. So we're talking about definitely 100% winter wheat if we're going with a March or April harvesting date, which we're not talking about that because we're talking about new corn. Okay? Uh, then for, for all you naysayers, this is roasting green wheat in Galilee, obviously. And then it talks about Fresh grain, a meal offering of first fruits. And, and here, here, here we go, folks. One brisk, brisk. What does that mean? Cold, spring morning. Found myself standing in hip, hip, hip deep in a Galilee wheat field. Galilee, Israel. So we're over there, and they're talking about... Um, We're talking about, uh, well, he, he's going to get it down uh, and roast it. And then they said that they've done this f for 10,000 years and, and, and it hasn't changed the way they harvested or, or cultivated it since the early 1900s. So they have, on a brisk morning, hip deep in a Galilee wheat field. Okay, so we're at spring. All right. So we've already shown the temperatures. Let's, uh, let's check out a bee. Tender, green, younger ear of grain, hence the name of the month, a bee. Or Nissan. No, absolutely, 100% not. Boom, yow, let me prove it. Nissan. Nisan, probably of foreign origin, the first month of the Jewish sacred year, Nisan. Well, that changes, March or April. Impossible. You can't have the first month of the year be two different months. Impossible. And, and of course, Nisan, they, they share from, look, 
Abib. Even in the Hebrew word, here, let me go back for the naysayers. Abib. Even, look, that's the name of the month. That's the actual Hebrew word. Green ears of corn, not maize. It's not American corn. And then we already did Nissan. Here's the search for new. Talking about the rapture. Is it going to be? I don't know. Burst from the, the womb. Make early fruit. Birthright, firstborn, first fruits. Creation, a new thing. New moon, a, a month. That can, that can occur in any month. New, fresh, born at the new moon, fresh, and then they talk about grape juice, and green, flourishing. So that's what they're talking about. That's what the month means. Corn, to tread out grain, thresh, tread out the corn. Here they're... Uh, Grain, wheat, corn, corn, a planted cornfield. And that's the Greek word. And here we are in the Hebrew word for corn, more appropriate. A young ear of grain, hence the name of the month, Abib, Nisan. Now, so they, they even say it there, Abib, ear, green ears of corn, not maize, corn, in the sense, grain of any kind, even while standing in the field. And they talk about the threshing for grain, corn, wheat. And they even talk about stored corn. And there was another thing too. Okay. So, I don't know how much more clear it can be that Passover would have to be in the first month of the year, every year, and it would be spring. And spring is uh, March 20th. So here is your dates. Nissan 14. And this, the full moon, which is uh, your vernal equinox, is on the 16th. Some of it show it on the 15th, 16th, and 17th. So even if it was the first Sunday after the full moon, it could still fall on here. Here's when the full moon is in the vernal equinox, and that's when they celebrate it. And then if they go from the uh, 14th to the uh, 22nd, guess what? It still would be early spring so hopefully that uh, shows that it's uh, proved the point but we'll just wait and see